Hello, welcome to the turret of pleasure here in the Enchanted Kingdom of Hermione. I am the Lord Chamberlain and the host here of this here show, Zip Gun. And we're going over this week's fabulous thrift store finds. Nothing gets me more excited than having an opportunity to hit a few thrift stores in a row that I know are good. We got a chance to do that. I did a video about all the pop stuff. Now I'm going to show you all the classical stuff I bought. Now, some people don't care about classical music, but if you even have a passing interest in it, you can do far worse than go to your local thrift store and buy CDs there because a lot of them end up in the thrift stores. And uh, I've, I'm going to show you what I got. Look at what I got here. For example, you have here Lorraine Hunt Leverson, of all people, on an AV CD. It's a DSD Super Audio. I don't even think I have the gear to play this fucking thing. This stereo hybrid SACD can be played on any standard compact disc player. In addition, there is a multi-channel program to this SACD using a five-channel mix only found on the SACD layer. How I extract that, I have no idea. However, 2004, now she died in 2006, and her real swan song was the um, Neruda love poems song um, cycle that her husband, um, Goddard Lieberson's son, I can't remember his first name. Anyway, they, theirs was a great love story in classical music. This is her singing Handel with Harry Bickert and the Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment on, I believe, on original instruments. And I haven't heard this, but how can this not be good? This is going to be really good. So, okay, next we have, and I might have this on vinyl somewhere, Sir George Solti doing Bartok's Concerto for Orchestra, the Chicago Symphony. This was recorded in 81. This is going to be solid. I don't know how badly I need it. And speaking of things I don't really need, but I couldn't just, I just couldn't not buy it. I have yet another traversal of the Goldberg Variations on Piano by Daniel Berenboim, a great pianist. A live recording in Buenos Aires. I wonder how many people cough in this recording. Um, I've got a recording of Sviatoslav Richter in Bulgaria where it sounds like everybody has tuberculosis. So there's that, but you know, I'll, it was $2. For a double CD. Now we got more weird stuff that normally I would kind of sneak this Yo-Yo Ma. Now I know everybody's kind of sick of Yo-Yo Ma, but he's actually a pretty damn good musician. And this is early. Look how young he is here. Wow. Early Yo-Yo. And he's doing um, Shostakovich. And he's doing Kabalyevsky. Now I don't think I got the Kabalyevsky Concerto for Cello and Orchestra. And I kind of like Kabalyevsky, so I'm going to buy that. And I know it's going to be played good because Yo-Yo Ma is really good. Then you have, and again, I don't know if I have this or not, but I'll, I'll buy stuff like this any day of the week. City of Birmingham Symphony, Simon Rattle when he was a kid, 86, is it 86? Um, Benjamin Britten doing the Sinfonia de Requiem, which I'm not familiar with. Occasional Overture, an American Overture, and Sweet on English Folk Tunes, which I do kind of remember. As really, I like Benjamin Britten. I think, you know, I'll buy this. EMI Digital... How can it not be good? Now we have this one I didn't really figure. It's Cantabile Virtuos on the EBS label, which is a, if I remember right, a German label? German? Electrola. And there's a lot of German writing on it that I don't really understand. What I do understand, there's somebody named Francesco Biscoli, who was born in 1740, concerto for trumpet, oboe, bassoon, violins, and bass continuo, as it appears to be. Jonathan Pezel, 1639 to 1694. Uh, da, 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 for Claire, for a sea trumpet, bassoon, and bass. Mm -hmm. Johann William Hartzell, 1727, 1789. So these guys are 100 years apart. Concerto for trumpet, oboe. So this is some kind of, I don't know, 
provincial German oboe and bassoon player people doing a CD of completely obscure minor pieces that sort of feature these instruments. I love CDs like this. I find all kinds of stuff you'd never find anywhere else. So I had to buy it. Oh, okay, Nimbus Records. Yay! Now, everybody who knows me knows I like surround. Nimbus, everything on Nimbus. This I'm going to assume is... Oh, yep. Stereo Ambisonic UHJ encoded. Now, I've never heard UHJ successfully encoded, so I don't know how it sounds. But everything on Nimbus is apparently UHJ recorded, or at least 1987 era it certainly was. Music for Christmas by Holst and Walton. I almost didn't buy this because eh, choir music for eh, Christmas, but Holst and Walton I really like. And British 20th century composers um, did lots of good choral music, so I bought it. Uh, speaking of which, Britain, Coral Edition, who knew, on Shandos, who knew? Shandos, one of those labels, I'll buy it. It's on Shandos? Yeah, I'll buy it. Uh, what do we got here? We got a uh, bunch of little pieces. Volume 2, I always hate it, because where's Volume 1? Jubilate Deo, Te Deum Antiphon Missa Brevis, a wedding anthem. Sweet was the song the Virgin sung, done by the Finzi Singers. How can they be bad when they're called the Finzi Singers? Um... And again, Loiseau Lear doing Vivaldi, Cello Concertos, Christophe Coin. Coin, I look at it, but it's Coin, I believe. Uh, again, I'll buy anything on Loiseau Lear. I don't care what it is. I'll pay $2 for it and, and be glad. This one seems to be made in Germany. It's, they always have different labels. So this might be our early one, because back then only Germans could make CDs. Um... And moving again, and this I, this happens to me a lot in the thrift stores. So now we got Deutsche Harmonia Mundi, another label. I'll buy anything on Deutsche Harmonia Mundi. Apparently, it has nothing to do with the other Harmonia Mundi. But sometimes they license records for each other. I have no idea. At any rate, this is the German one. It was run through EMI for a spell. They even put out some records in quad. Uh, here we have Le Petit Band with Sigiswald Koiken. I can't pronounce his name. Great Dutch violinist. I'll buy anything. And this is, you know, Hippotelian RC. This is a orchestral suite. John Philip Rameau ticks every f possible box. Thomas Louis de Victoria. Now. What year is this? I might have this on a quad. LP, no, 1979, probably not, oh well, just as well. Um, now we have the CRD label, which, uh, can't remember what CRD stands for, British label, provincial, Mozart, violin sonatas, Howard Davis, Virginia Black on harpsichord, and uh, these guys always make good CDs, they've got very tiny budgets, so it's just two people. And um, they do stuff like, I don't think I have vi Mozart violin sonatas, just for violin and, and harpsichord. Here, now we're going to get into some weird stuff. Okay, here we got the Swingle Singers doing Bach. This was a pretty big deal back in about 1962, and I haven't played this yet. But I have some of their other stuff that's actually pretty great. And, like, what's his name? Jacques Lussier. He had his jazz trio that played Bach. And it was pretty cool. I mean, it's really hard to screw Bach up. And if they're making something, this is, I believe this is mostly a cappella. I think they had a jazz group with them. Right, Pierre Michelot on double bass. He played with Miles. And uh, Gus Alls on drums. So they, they had a bass player and a drummer, and then it was all these vocalists. And I, I, I'm a sucker. I like Bach, so I'll buy that. And it's, this is... Now, is this an album? The other thing I like, rather than being a best of, I think this is actually just one LP. And for whatever reason, I prefer to buy um, reissues of albums rather than best ofs. I don't like best ofs too much. 
Okay, next we have... Now, this one I bought just because Pergolesi. I'll buy Pergolesi. Uh, it is on a label, Omega, the digital standard of excellence. I have never heard of Omega. Where is it from? New York City. Hmm. Rudolf Palmer, the Philomel Baroque Chamber Orchestra. I have not heard of any of these names. So I'm going to guess this is a sort of a small budget American... Um, oh, yes, op Opera Buffo in two acts. Okay, right. Right, right, right. So it's an early style opera. I mm, wonder if I'll ever get around to playing that. Um, another good one. You, Ernest Ansermont with the Orchestra of the Swiss Romand. This was a great orchestra for a long time. Um, did lots of good work. He worked with Stravinsky. He worked with... Um, a lot of people. This is music of Ernest Chausson and Gabriel Faure. So French music done by a French conductor in French Switzerland from the, when are the recordings? 62 and 67. Really good recordings though. Um, Decca, you know. And then finally a pretty cool thing is Roger Norrington. I don't know, Roger Norrington sort of embarked on this program where he would take all the orchestral, you know, war horses, if you will, that were usually played with these giant modern distended orchestras, and he would pare them down to an orchestra that was more likely to have been the size that originally played the piece. And he did all the Beethoven symphonies like this. And of course, it was great because they did it really well, um, and it was different than what you're used to hearing, with, you know, when you hear the Beethoven's third with a way smaller orchestra. It's, it's a lot more nimble. Anyway, they were really popular. So he started doing just about anything that moved. And this is one, Johann Brahms. Variations on a theme of Joseph Haydn and his Symphony No. 1 with the London Classical Players, 1991. Um, I'll buy any of these. They're great fun to listen to. Without, I haven't really hated any of them. Sometimes some of them are a little curious. But, you know, like uh, there was a Symphony Fantastique he did that was... Maybe, I don't know. And now we get into kind of weird territory. This, now normally I have a rule. If it doesn't have the book, I'm not buying it. And if it doesn't come complete, I'm not buying it. Sometimes you break the rule. In this case, this would have come in a slip case. But it's Handel, Judas Maccabeus, French Harmonia Mundi, not to be confused with the German Harmonia Mundi. Nicholas McKeegan, who's great, this is a Harmonium Mundi USA thing, but I seem to remember them being French. Well, it does say France on it, so that's kind of confusing. And um, this, this, by the way, ooh, it, now this one, it's funny, this one is all scratched up. It does play, but look at the stuff on this. I don't know what to do. It looks like jam. I don't know. And there's, like, looks like bits of the aluminum are missing. I don't know. I played it. It does actually play. Um, and so, you know, okay, so I bought it. I'll keep it. I don't know, put an elastic band around it or something. And then I got fooled. And this doesn't happen very often. When I buy thrift store CDs, I look at the CD. I always like, need to do. okay, what do we got here? I'll take a thing. Okay. Mm -mm -mm, not bad, great. Pergolas, okay. Now, the only problem with this one, now again, Le Salir, I'm going to buy it in a heartbeat. I know, I'll buy it if I've already got it. Great. Far out. What's not to, not to like? Look at that. Emma Kirkby, James Bowman, Christopher Hogwood. Excellent, right? Okay, I bring it home. There he is, Pergolesi. It's Salve Regina. Yep, okay. Wait a minute. This isn't on Le Salir. This is on... Opus 111. So what I've got here is a is the right piece, but not the right CD. <laughs> so it is Pergolesi and it is Salve Regina, but it's with a bunch of German singers I've never heard of, and of course it's not it's not what I thought I was buying. So I think I'll keep it just because it's not the right piece, anyways. So there you go, and that was like, I don't know, what is this, 40 bucks for this much fantastic 
fantastic classical music. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope, you, hope this entertains some of you, because um, it sure entertains me. And uh, yeah, if you want to hit the subscribe button, that'll get you in tune with the channel. And um, we'll talk at you later. We've got more stuff to do uh, to talk about, but I'm waiting for stuff to show up. So until then, I'll take care of each other, and we'll see you later.